Good uh, evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, International Master Bing Chang, and doing a uh, commentary game today. Well, I think it's, yeah, this is the Blitz commentary game. I'm just watching these two guys playing. I think that's, I think that this guy is Haizu, and this guy must be John, I think, based on the previous games, because only Haizu will play G6 against A1. I'll just take a look at this briefly. Uh, yeah, so I think, yeah, so Haizu is definitely, I think Haizu is white, is has a JCU and John is Kit Kat. So unfortunately, if you don't know these guys, um, yeah, one of them is bad chess and the other guy is even worse at chess. So that that's all the introduction you need. I'm just checking these guys' games to see if I'm correct. Yes, it is. Yeah, so this guy's Hazu and this guy's John. So they're both bad chess. So there's really a battle between who's worse and who's yeah, who's worse. Yeah, so I make these fun of these guys because they deserve it and it's fun. It's a lot of fun to make fun of these guys because I do this every single Friday at her house chess club. And these guys don't mind, and now I'm gonna talk about the chess. So right now this is some kind of a, some kind of a dragon, I think. Some a cyber dragon? Somehow it got transposed into cyber dragon, because this was started as a perk. And now it's now it's just like a dragon. C4. He's trying to take away his bishop. Oh that's bad. I think you just take this guy, take up B2. You have to take up B2, and this guy is gonna drop, so that is game over. Wow. See, I, I told you this is just this is just bad chess. Takes on D5. Or pawn takes, or just knight takes d1. There we go, right takes d1. And uh, well, I don't know, what, 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 what should Black do here? So this guy is like 2300 CFC. This guy's like 2100 CFC. He's John. He just sent me a message here. He said, Tell me when you start casting. I'm casting now. And um, let me what's going on here. 0.5. What's, what's he doing now? He's going to send me a message now. Oh, it's <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put this down. So, 0.5, and I mean, oh, uh, like, what's well, just lost here? I don't even know what's going on here. This this game is just, it's blowing my mind. It's, it's blowing my mind. Um, there's only ideas in g 5 which is, I guess, it's somewhat of a threat. So, f6 is forced. And uh, at this point, h4 is probably the move that I would play. Just try to get perpetual here. Of course, rook f7 kind of stops that. But bishop d3 is probably a better way of doing this. Um, rook f7, of course, is forced again. And rook f7, h4. I mean, I would, I would go to h4 anyway, just to see if this must be what the white can do to force a perp here. Because, I mean, white has to try and force a perp. That's essentially what he is trying to do here. Um, h4, h5 is interesting, but queen d5 is definitely a move that they gotta stop. So if I was white, I would just, um, I mean, I would just go, I don't know, c4. Yeah, I don't know. I have a headache. I can't think right now. This is tough game to think. I can't think. This is tough, man. These games are difficult to analyze. And just, it's it's hard to really understand what is going on in the minds of these chess players right now. These 1900s and 1800s in Blitz. I usually don't cast these, these kind of low rate games, but this time, a friend asked me, and I said, okay, sure. I'm bored. Let's, let's do something. And bishop 4 Okay then. So um, what is black and do? Rook c4. I would say, just to get this bishop out of the way. And prevent. Uh, sorry. Oh wow, I'm tired. Yeah. So prevent certain things. I'm also reading about meditation, by the way. Meditation is cool. But one thing I'm actually really pissed off about is this TD bank stuff. They charge me interest again. TD bank. Goddamn TD bank. Because of my credit card. I don't understand. I got. To, I got to do something with my credit card. That's really irk me. Irk me right now. Among other things, but let's not talk about other things. Let's talk about the chess. So the chess is really exciting right now. I'm really excited with this game. I really think this is gonna be one of those masterpieces that go down history as one of the best games of the world. Like, like you know, one of those like immortal games that uh, Nims of Witch and like people make and Bob Fisher and you know, probably Carlson's gonna do one pretty soon if he hasn't already done the one. I think a nuts immortal game happened recently actually with that a Neuronian game. That was a really really awesome game with the semi Slav. If you guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, this game so far has been wildly, wildly um, boring, I would say. It just, I mean, this doesn't seem to be anything fun going on here. I mean, White's just trying to sack here the whole time. Black has a financial rook here, and White's just going to take those pawns. Like, and push that pawn down, and White's going to play each 5 at some point. Maybe at 4 first, but at the same time, I don't really see what the difference is, because at 4, um, I don't know what he's doing here. Oh, sorry, that was bad. Yeah, so take you. Well, I just took this guy. Well, that, no, that's that that takes some balls to do. Just taking this guy. I'll just go g5, but I guess taking his five too because he has this queen takes. Um, well, he has some ideas here. 
Bishop f5 is definitely a good move here, I think. Um, I mean, well, knight f5 easily just takes knight f5. Queen's, and now, um, this guy? Oh, I see. Okay. That was cool. I guess that's why he takes knight h5. So that was a cool move to play. Um, well, sweet. So, second game. Alright, so I'm doing two games here just because I wanted to see what's going on. And, yep, that's the, that's the whole point. I'm just doing two games. And I'm done. Then you can kind of forget about this terrible, terrible games. And uh, it's going to be just a faded memory from the past. You don't have to ever, we don't have to talk about these games ever again. Um, so, what's going on here? So, this is some kind of a robot, robot French. Robotash, I think. Robotash French. Or, I'm not sure what it's called, actually. But here, white just casts queenside, usually. It goes 95. Um, it's also possible for white to cast queenside, but I usually don't see people cast queenside just because it's this bishop here already. And white really has to go for attack. That's that's this this line primarily. Um, usually, actually, I would go 95. 85, I'm not too sure, but this seems like a kind of a dumb move. Because um, it 85, 84 doesn't do anything, it's just play 3. Black usually tries to get c5 in, try to open up center, uh, try to play like queen c7. Um, usually, I mean, if, if it's hard for him to do it, he could go like queen d5 or something, or like 95. They're trying to. I'm not sure about this thing. I think that white should stop with, with the a3. He should stop. I think he should stop stop to a3 push. Alright, because I really think this is a bad idea. Because I think a3, b3, 95 is probably like a strong, strong move. Strong series of moves, actually. a3, and probably even h6, I would say. I would say h6 is probably good. And 95. But 95 first, I think, is actually pretty decent by itself. Um, just because, I mean, as white, you never want play, you never want to let black play a3 here. This is just like, like a dumb way of playing this. I don't know what queen c does, because I think 98 has to be played. And you would also don't want to have white play h6 either. So, both these guys just making some... I mean, I guess maybe here h6 could be played, but I don't know. I just feel like both these guys are making some terrible moves. And here, I think you just... Um, see, this thing, right? You can't even take out c5 anymore. Because takes, queen c5, okay... Okay, he took it. So queen takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, knight d7, queen c3, and all of a sudden white is in some trouble. So that is definitely not something you want to get caught up in. So that's why you won't play a3. You prevent this uh, queen c3, queen b2 kind of shenanigans here. And usually black just has nothing. That's why a5, a4 doesn't really do anything. Um, black really has to just play c5 because usually there's a pawn that stays on a6, protecting b5. And, I mean, even a5 creates weakness on b5 most times, so it doesn't really do anything at all. h5, I mean, h5, 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 h6, on the other hand, does something. But this is usually a line where black tries straight pieces off, so, I mean, with queen d5 or knight d5 early on. But here, it's, no, it just, it just doesn't really ring true to me, so I just don't really like this game. Just like last game, actually. This, this is why I'm saying that these games are very poor quality, and I, I don't understand if anyone just stopped watching right now, because... These are just some awful games. Just, just awful. I just that's, that's something more I can say. No, it's just plain awful. Alright, so here I think White's gonna just sack on F7 because that is the freaking sack that's waiting for it to happen. Okay, there we go. Sack. And the funny thing is Rit takes Rit takes D1. And it's nice to protect G5. Like that's that's how good the sack is actually. This is a good sack. So I mean this is like forced sack. I think so Rit takes D1, Rit takes D1, Bishop D5, that's absolutely forced. There's really nothing else that uh, Black can do about this. But even then, it's actually kind of difficult to see if White's going to win this. Because it's pawn a3, queen c3, queen b2. That has really been paying. And I just I just don't know if White actually can, can win this game. I mean... Well, it's, well, it's good, right? Oh, wow. Hmm. That was... Wow, that's tiring. I think I'm going to do some meditation afterwards, actually. I'm going to do some meditation afterwards. Let me see what's going on in the news these days. Cool, Godzilla's popped up. Godzilla's a friend of mine that cast before and he's a pretty good player but he hasn't popped up in a while so go talk to him afterwards um, after I watch these these good games you know these are some fantastic games this is like this is like the immortal Kit Kat JCU game it is fantastic and I really I'm really learning a lot about this game like how to play incorrectly that is what I'm learning right now but of course I've already learned that um, a long time ago and I'm still learning that now you know you never stop learning of how to play incorrectly because you always play correctly at some point in your life so, unfortunately, I think that um, this is actually this is actually winning. Actually, queen six knight e five is coming. If uh, queen c three knight five check and six, six f six is winning, and knight e five I think is still winning. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, hmm. So hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that's yeah. So that's winning. Yeah. 
Alright, so that is the game right there, and I am officially done my cast. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.